uh, city of Houston serves about 2.2 million uh, residents. And occasionally they need to do maintenance, they need to get into the facility, shut them down, cut open pipes. Um, so this project is allowing uh, the facilities to get in there and actually complete that work. The project is a valve replacement project. So uh, what's happening is uh, they're replacing a bunch of large diameter water main valves at a pump station that serves about a third of the city of Houston's water. So we do preventative maintenance on a lot of our larger facilities and this is our largest repub facility. So we'd like to be diligent and proactive in replacing our valves before they break so we can continue to provide water from these large facilities. The need for the valving and the replacement of some of the existing valving is based on water control and being able to transfer water from system to system. And it was super critical to the city of Houston that they maintained water pressure throughout the entire distribution system. So if that pressure were to drop below 50 psi or even lower than that, that could send people out of water and, and have a significant boil water effect across the city. The pressure plane, of course, is, is not just going to the sink you know, or turning on the washing machine and stuff, it's also fire control. So you've got a lot of public safety as well as public health involved in these kind of things. There are a couple factors that make this, this one a little bit more challenging. Uh, one, the pipeline's about 20 feet deep below grade. That requires a contractor to get in there to sheeting, shoring, excavation, dewatering, um, and even ventilation because it's so deep in the hole that you need air and oxygen to get your workers down there and to be safe. Um, on top of that, it's a large diameter pipe, it's 66 inches in diameter. If you can imagine a 60 inch or 66 inch main carrying um, a lot of water at 5 feet per second, it's, it's a lot of water. So everything that you're dealing with at, at such a large diameter that you know, even the pressures that you typically work at, um, the force of that just is amplified the larger you go in diameter. Uh, you're working at nights, you're working in cold, uh, that's, now it's raining. so. Those are the situations that you have to deal with and work through. The contractors come up with some innovative ways to cut the pipe, like we saw today, by using the, you know, the, the cable cutting and that kind of stuff that saved a lot of time and made very clean work out of it. First time I personally have seen that system used. And I've been uh, in construction, uh, underground construction and building and trades uh, for 47 years. You know, the collaboration between us, you know, whenever they came up with this, it just worked out well. It's definitely looking out for our residents. We can ensure that we'll be able to continue use of this facility without having a major failure. So that's really the end goal is public health and safety for the people that we serve on. We all saw one goal in mind. And we knew that no one person, no one part of this team could solve it by themselves. We knew that we all needed to come together as one team to complete the project. It's been going on about three years, so the fact that we're to this point and installing the last two valves is really exciting. <laughs>